Hi guys, this is Nora with Moon and Dylan with Billy Bob Gift. And I just want to bring you guys another haul uh, from the thrift store. Actually, I went to two different thrift stores this time. Um, first one I went to was Goodwill. Uh, I've got my granny glasses on, by the way, <laughs> if you noticed. Uh, so I can actually read some tags. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, I did go to two stores. I went to a Goodwill and I went to a new thrift store, which I actually really liked. Um, it's called Family Thrift, but I think it's for the um, uh, Vietnam veterans. Uh, so uh, it's another one like the CHKD that I usually go to, uh, but except that I think it goes to the Vietnam veterans. So uh, I've got a mix and match here, so I don't remember exactly, unless I look at the tag, uh, which store I got it from. But uh, I'm just going to show you what I got. Um, first thing is... Uh, this, this is, actually I think this is kind of rare, um, I saw a lot of this, uh, animal, this, uh, this is a, uh, this is from 1980, 1980, shoot I can't read it now, uh, 1985 I think. And it's a Linda Novick, and uh, I'm not sure if y'all know about these or not, but this is a Linda Novick stuffed animal, and she made a lot of uh, stuffed animals like this, I think, or a few that I saw on eBay. Uh, I didn't see too many, and not most of what I saw was a uh, lamb, and what happens is uh, you take each of the animals has a pacifier, and I think I have a little blankie to go with it, too. And the pacifier comes out of its mouth, and uh, you can just stick it back in there. It doesn't make any noises or anything, but the cutest thing about it is the uh, back side of it, if you can see that. Um, you got the little top of his butt showing out of his pants, and it's got Velcro on each side that you can take it, and that exposes his butt. <laughs> so, and uh, if you notice the, uh, I don't know if you can see it on my camera or not, but it's got like blush on his cheeks and it's got blush on his cheeks here and uh, you can just uh, fasten the uh, belt through back and it still shows a little part of his butt there <laughs> but uh, I thought this was totally adorable when I saw it and I didn't realize how rare it was until I got it home and looked at it and um, so I may try to get you know 30 to 25 dollars out of this or maybe even more because um, I didn't see any dogs on the uh, eBay, so uh, most of what I saw was the lamb, so uh, I think he's pretty rare. Um, I've got another stuffed animal here, i got the, uh, this is a King Funshine Bear, I think, from the Care Bears, and uh, his, I need to fix his hat a little bit, these little things are coming, have bending down, but uh, that's that, and I got game. Yeah. This game, I think I'll be able to sell this for at least uh, $25 uh, with shipping probably. I only paid $2.25 for it. Oh, Crack the Case. And this looks like a pretty interesting game. It's something I would like to play myself. Um, so uh, the box is in pretty decent condition. And it looked like it had everything in it, but I've got to really double check it. But um, it's a uh, detective type game, I think. So uh, this looks like it's going pretty good, both on eBay and on Amazon. Um, I'm going to try to branch out into a couple of different areas here. Um, and a couple of VHS tapes just to try it out once I get signed up on um, Amazon. Um, this is a sealed copy of the Legend of the Fall. Uh, didn't look like it was doing too good, but I might get two or three bucks out of it. Um, and um, the Goodwill had, uh, if you bought two, I think it was two, two of them for two dollars and change or something, I want to say. so. I mean, just to try it out, I'll see how it does. Uh, this is pretty specific uh, VHS. 
So simply Tai Chi, this one's not sealed, but uh, the topic just shows how to do Tai Chi, and so I thought that was a pretty good title. I've had good luck with some books on uh, self-help type things, so I thought I'd give that a shot. Um, another thing I'm going to try to branch out into is ties. Um, this one here is a really pretty blue um, with a knot pattern in it. I don't know if you can see that, but it's from, from the uh, Tie Rack London. Uh, so I guess it comes from London, England. And uh, it's got a little tie thing on the back. Um, I don't think it, I don't know if it's silk or not, it's hard to say, but uh, I don't see ties on it. But since it came from London, I thought I'd give, give it a try. And I like the pattern on it. So I um, found this uh, Mickey Mouse tie. Uh, it doesn't look like a Mickey Mouse really until you look at it close, but the pattern in it is um, got some little, uh, I guess, kind of like that hidden Mickey thing you could find at the Dizzy's World, I think. Um, but it's got a few little circles, and then it's got the circles that make the Mickey on it. And it's a Disney World tie. It still has a tag on the back, is the main reason I got it. Still attached to it. Let me see that. Uh, then I got some uh, Looney Tune ties. Um, I still have one Looney Tune tie that I had gotten off of Listia um, that I still haven't listed yet, but I did take pictures of it, so I need to get that listed today. Um, this is another one. It's a black tie. It's got the characters on it. Uh, it's a Looney Tunes brand. Um, and another one here see how we do on the ties. This has got a lot more of the characters on it, I think. Uh, but the only problem with this one, I don't see the little strap thing on the back where you put the other end of the tie on, so I hope that's not going to make a big difference. Um, so, but I thought I'd get them just to try them out. Um, something else I got that's non-clothing so far is this, uh, Hershey's Chocolate World um, uh, Snow Globe. That's a nice one. Uh, I have been to Chocolate World myself, so if I can't get rid of this, then I may end up keeping it, but uh, it was only 75 cents, so if I can get three or four bucks out of it, I'll be alright, I guess. Um, got a few more mugs. This one was cute, I thought. Um, this one cost me... 45 cents, I think. It's got a little uh, chickens on it. Uh, it's got the little baby chick here. It says Rise and Shine. And then you turn it around on the other side here and it says uh, Have a Sunshiny Day with the big chicken. And it kind of, kind of just wraps around the mug there. Um, got some more mugs here. Um, this is a uh, Office Max mug. You wouldn't think it, but it looks like a mug for tattoos or something, but it says refill your ink at Office Max. And it's got this uh, girl on there that has a bunch of tattoos. And um, then this, this has got her other side. This is the back side, I guess. Uh, um, it says save money on ink tattooed on her back. <laughs> Uh, I thought that with the tattoos and everything, and it's got the little Office Max logo right down at the bottom there. Um, and on the inside rim of the mug, it says refill your ink at Office Max on this side and on this side as well. So, I uh, thought that might go. Um, another mug, I've got this one. It's I'm willing to accept suggestions and constructive criticism from anyone who's willing to accept a fat lip. <laughs> so I thought that was a cute little saying on that one. It's got a little dog in boxing gloves. Um, this is a Don't Mess With Texas mug. It's got the Texas flag on it. Um, on both sides it says the same thing, Don't Mess With Texas. So I thought that one might go. And then I got this one up. This one was pretty cool. It says Practice 
putting hole. Um, I think this is a certain brand of mugs, but uh, this is also good for coffee. <laughs> um, but it's got the little cutout down here at the bottom, and you just lay it on the floor, and you take your uh, your golf club and your golf ball, and you just try to put it right through the bottom of the cup. So I thought that was really cute. I like this one better than I actually have seen the other ones that had the hole right in the middle there. So I thought that was really cute. And of course it's raised in the center there and you got to wash the mug and all that. Uh, those mugs are kind of dirty so I do need to wash them up good. Okie dokie, we'll get into the clothing now. I think the clothing is going to end up being my bread and butter as far as uh, income is concerned. Because I've done pretty good this week. Um, this one here is a GW Bass shirt. Uh, I got this one um, at that new store. They have a like a half of a owl of I guess clothes they're trying to just get rid of at 99 cents. So this is one of the 99 cent shirts I got. It's GW Bass, and I got it just because of the collar was different. Uh, I can't remember, I'm not really sure. I think this is called um, Mandarin style collar. If anybody knows, uh, just let me know in the comments. I appreciate it. Um, got quite a few t shirts. Uh, this is a Rush Limbaugh t shirt. I figure a Rush Limbaugh fan would like this. Got this one for 99 cents, and it's uh, extra large. And this one here is a uh, extra large as well. Um, got this uh, Monty Python uh, with the saying on it. It says, I fart in your general direction. <laughs> so this is a 99 cent t-shirt. Or no, this is a T98. Uh, 2XL. This is a nice big shirt. It's the only reason I really got it. Because it's so big. And I've had a lot of luck with the uh, t-shirts and the shirts that are like 2x or bigger so you may want to check into those sizes if you're looking to sell uh, clothing especially on the men's uh, shirts and stuff so I shouldn't have any problems getting rid of that um, this is another big shirt I got um, this was at the Goodwill and the tags this week I think are orange tags are half off so uh, this is four ninety nine with half off, which was uh, two fifty. So this is a uh, Echo Unlimited. I've seen quite a lot of these T-shirts, and I'm not sure how well they do, um, but I like the pattern on this one. And so uh, let's see how these do. This is just a regular pillow shirt. Uh, stripes on it and it's got the animal pattern on top there. This is a uh, Calvin Klein, just your basic white dress, dress shirt or casual shirt I mean. Um, Calvin, <coughs> Calvin Klein jeans. I think I got this for 99 cents. Uh, extra large. Uh, this one here was a extra extra large. This one here is a uh, Croft and Barrow XLT, and it's just your kind of a Hawaiian shirt. It's got the palm trees and the uh, some type of Hawaiian flower. I forgot what you call that. Um, this one here is a Cuba Vera it's a Cuban style shirt. Um, I like these type of shirts. Nice pattern, or it's just brown with a few stripes down the front there. But I got it because it's a big size. Um, this is a, well, actually, it feels bigger than what it actually says it is. It's a large, but, uh, it feels like it might be, it's more like an extra large to me, I think. Um, but I got that one, and I got this t-shirt is a Geico t-shirt. Now I got this cause, just because of the uh, 
picture is a little different. Um, it says Geico officially automotive insurance. It's got the little gecko in the car driving. So um, I saw another one, and when I got home, I'm glad I got this one instead of the other one. Or you know, I just didn't pick up the other one because it just had the gecko and a like a um, glow in the dark uh, pattern on it, um, which it looks like it was going pretty good. But that this is out. I don't see any like this on eBay yet, so it might go pretty good. I <coughs> found another uh, South Park uh, Cartman Respect My Authority t-shirt. This one is a uh, large size. It's a 2XL. It's kind of off-white. Respect My Authority. I sold the black one. Um, it was one of the first things I sold uh, before, so I'm hoping that one's going to go pretty good. This one here is uh, just a novelty t-shirt. I think I got it for 99 cents. Um, it says, only an idiot would, uh, and it's got a picture of eat paste, and then get hit by a parked car, and then it says, read this t-shirt. <laughs> so I thought that was a cute little saying. Uh, so just your basic idiot t-shirt. <laughs> um, and the last one I got is this uh, Family Guy t-shirt. And I thought this was really funny. It's a big size. It says, Paddle Faster, I Hear Banjos. And it's got uh, uh,